Welcome to my first Create Extra video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use my Windows VHD installer in order to install a Windows VHD automatically on your computer. First of all, you'll need to download the Windows VHD installer and there is a link in the video description. And also you'll need a Windows Vista or Windows 7 or Windows 2008 ISO file. This is my Windows 7 ISO file. You'll have to rename this to Windows in order for the installer to extract the install.wim file from it. You can either have the ISO file or the install.wim file in the same directory. Let's get let's get started. Right click the installer and run as administrator. This is because the installer uses ImageX and Ad Dispart, both which require administrative privileges. As you can see, as I have used an ISO file, 7-zip is extracting the install.wim file from the ISO. After the install.wim has been extracted, you'll see the welcome screen. Here you'll have to choose which operating system you want to install. I'm going to choose Windows 7. And, and then which architecture. Mine is a 32-bit operating system. And now the addition. I'll choose Ultimate for this example. Now the installer will ask you for a boot name. This is what you'll see when you start your computer. I'm going to choose Windows 7 times 86 for my example. Now the installer will ask you in which drive the VHD should be installed. I'm going to choose my D drive. So D and then the folder in which the VHD file should be kept. I'm going to choose Win VHD. And now you'll need to type in a name for the Windows VHD file. I'm going to choose Win 7 times 86. And now the installer asks you for a size. You'll have to choose a size in MB. The installer will automatically recommend the minimum size for the operating system you have chosen. I'm going to choose 16 GB and press enter. You can choose as much as you like, as long as you have the size available on your hard disk. And now the installer will ask you for the type of VHD file. I'm going to choose expandable. I recommend using expandable unless you know what you're doing with fixed. Expandable will be faster in the installation. And now the installation starts. After a few seconds you will see the installer asking you for the disk number. I'm going to choose number 6 because this is where the installation will happen. As the installer continues, you'll see disk by creating the disk and then formatting it into NTFS where the windows will be installed. Here you can see a new disk W has been created for which the VHD file is in my WinVHD folder. Now the installer is moving the install.wim to the directory. Install.wim has been moved to the directory. ImageX will start and start to extract the install.wim and place it into the new hard drive. This took about five minutes on my computer. As you can see the ImageX tool is applying the install.wim to the new directory. Here is giving an estimation time of 3 minutes and 31 seconds. I'm going to skip forward to save some time. Windows is nearly finished applying the win dot install dot win to the new hard drive. Just 4 seconds remaining. If I refresh it, as you can see, that the install dot win has been applied to the disk. And now the installer pauses. This allows you to add custom scripts to the setup folder in the new Windows VHD. After you have finished that, press any key to continue. Now this part starts again and detaches the disks. As you can see, the, the virtual hard disk has been detached. Now the installer asks you to enter a long number which is needed to create 
the boot entry for the virtual hard disk operating system. It is vital that you type in correct, otherwise the boot entry might fail to be created. D5 As you can see, I'm typing the number in without the brackets, but with the dashes. Once you show you've typed it incorrectly, press enter. Now the installer asks you if you want to keep the install.win file. You can keep it if you wish to install more VHDs and um, save time from the extraction. I'm going to choose no because I don't want to install anymore. The installation is complete, so enjoy your new Windows VHD operating system. Please comment and rate on my videos, and I will be making more tutorials very, very soon. Thank you for watching.